All right, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and LiveWire application. And in the previous uh, videos, and we have completed the user module. So now, on the further videos, we'll be working on appointments modules. So in this video, uh, we will see we will write the migrations for appointment, and we'll be designing the appointment index page. So let's get started. So first, let's fix the icon over here to fix, uh, and let's add the calendar icon. So for this, let's go to a side, and over here, let's make it as calendar. Okay, perfect. Now, now let's add a new route for appointments so let's go to web the PSP file and I think we have already created the component for listing the appointments so in the previous video I think which is inside of HTTP library admin appointments and then list appointments okay we have already created this component class so let's do get admin slash appointments when someone visit that URL then let's use this class list appointments okay and the route name is appointments so now let's import this namespace okay we imported it now let's visit admin slash appointments so currently it is empty because we are rendering we are rendering this view which is inside of fiber admin appointments and the list appointment okay so we can go to this layer view list appointments and let's make a change over here yeah this is working perfectly fine so let's add the link over here and let's make this link as a active like we did in users okay so for this let me go to a side and then let's go over here and when someone click then we direct them to this route admin sorry appointments admin dot appointments okay if we refresh it we see admin dot appointments not found so let's change it over here yeah perfect now if we click over here then we are not making this link as active we have already done on this on future on uh, other videos so so to do this let's add let's make this let's add active class when this link is when we are on this appointment page okay so when the route and the request is admin slash appointments then if the request is admin slash appointments then let's add active class otherwise let's do nothing now if we are an appointment page it is it got, it is got selected yeah perfect so now let's go ahead and create a migrations for appointment so before appointments before writing migration for appointment let's uh, write one simple migration for clients uh, let's do PSP artisan make me a model called client with migration okay now let's go to this that migration file create clients so let's simply add a name over here okay there will be other different fields but for the purpose of this video let's make it simple 
so I'm adding the, the name of name only so let's go ahead and create another migration file for appointment make me a model appointment with migration okay and in appointment model we will be covering live wear date picker and how to use time picker and how to use text area so let's do date of date and time these are the fields and let's add one status as well also uh, we'll be using we'll be doing the appointments with clients so let's do unsigned big integer and the client ID and over here let's make this client ID as foreign key references ID on clients okay also instead of writing this as to this code we can simply do foreign ID and let's do client ID and let's add a constraint foreign client ID is simply the alias to this so let's remove it and for constraint uh, it will automatically detect the column and the table name so let's remove this as well so this seems cleaner and status and let's add one text field and let's name it as text as well or let's say note and let's make it as nullable now let's migrate PSP audition migrate yes those are migrated successfully now let's go ahead and create simple index page design so we have already worked on list users so let me copy everything from here and let's go to list appointments and paste everything so we will get some errors if we refresh the page here so it is saying undefined variable users so let's remove that variable let's remove it let's say client name and we'll be displaying one okay the fields will be let's say client name and appointment date appointment time so let's say date time and let's say status so client name date and let's do time over here now let me refresh it is still showing the user now user variable is not defined so let's remove it let's search for user yes let's remove it from here so let's remove it I think in this uh, we are not using model so let me completely remove this 
is we will be redirecting to another page point point create page so let's remove it and now let's refresh it again yep see is working perfectly fine so let's fix this design issue as well so client name date time and the status status okay yes so let's change this text over here as well with appointments also here and a new appointment yep perfect now we created appointment index page as well so we'll be making this dynamic on the next video also we'll be creating appointment create page on the next video so uh, so this must for this video so i hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video